Welcome back to the channel. This is part two where we are demonstrating how to perform peak integrations using Python. In the first part, I showed you how we can use our find peaks method on this simplified data set to locate the two peaks you see here and how we can use this info dictionary to define the width of our peak and then pass that information to this numpy.trapz method to then perform the integration. In this video, I want to demonstrate how we can apply that same approach, but then also visualize the integration region using more data visualization, and thus will enhance the data storytelling, as well as giving you an ability to verify that your peak integrations are occurring where you believe they should. Let's get started. So we've already done most of the hard work. We already have some code to, to perform the peak integrations. Let's just move that down. And you see pretty quickly we can we can reestablish where we are. Now what I want to demonstrate currently is how we can then pass that information, left base, right base, and then begin to fill under this curve. Can we actually illustrate the area under the curve, which is what we are integrating? To do that, we're going to use this bit of code here where uh, let me comment it out and then you will see how we sort of build this out. So the first line it's just our original data. And the second line is the, the peak information that we have established before. And so here we are just doing our integration and you can see that nothing changes so far. However, the thing that I want to illustrate is this fill between method from matplotlib. And this fill between gives us an option of passing that low and upper. Let's change this to lower and upper. Uh, information that we have seen before, as well as other information such as the low limit and the range for Y, so that we can actually perform this integration and see it here. This zero establishes where the baseline is, in which case I know my baseline is zero. If your data is a little bit noisier, maybe you need to perform a baseline correction. We do have a video for that um, in, in somewhere in YouTube land. Um, and then of course the color is red. And so we can see from this that maybe we're not fully integrating the peak because we have stopped a little bit early um, based on this visualization. And so we can take this a little bit further and look at if we see upper plus one. Now, because we are now completing the full integration, you see that we have full coverage of this information. And maybe if we pass upper plus one here, and we see that we are now correcting correctly integrating the full peak. And this is the value of data visualization. You can see if we're tracking these index values properly and we can see visually we have the proper integration. Now, let me copy this here and right below, let's do the same thing, but for peak two and by updating this variable, we will automatically perform all the proper calculations and let me make sure I've copied everything properly. Okay, there we go. And let's switch the color to green so we can we can make it clear what we're doing. And you see by propagating those same changes, we now can visually illustrate where the peaks are. There's other ways to annotate this data, but now just the visual aid to this could improve your data storytelling, make the results more clear to your key stakeholders, and really demonstrates how you're advancing your Python skills and of course, if you can do this for one peak or two peaks, you can easily write a for loop to loop through multiple peaks. If you want to see that or you enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.